We're going to do a vote review uh, for Ferran over here. His uh, Lotus uh, defense from on, on his omen. He would like to get this uh, reviewed and got some advice. And we already start the round with a smoke Eco. that is designed for the attackers. So they can cross the wall. So this is definitely something that you should not use on the defense. And now let's see what he Pushing. does in next, the uh, next moments. This smoke is pretty good because it keeps the players from crossing... Uh, from crossing the box without um, having to your... check like an additional angle, right? So you go into two 50-50s. I still don't like the fact that you buy a ghost instead of a paranoia on Omen, but that's yeah, my personal out. preference, and I don't think everyone should do like what I do, right? Not everyone should be going for a classic armor and paranoia and two smokes. Uh, but if you do go for ghost two smokes and a TP, I feel like you should be utilizing the TP in that round because you buy it, right? Like, you buy it, you should be using it to change your, like, uh, use the level uh, level play that you can do, right? And if you don't, then it's like, okay, well, I guess I bought something that I never intended to right. use, right? Serious, serious. He's one serious. I like the fact that you communicate where the opponent went in. It's really good. But now this is going to be something that I think is going to be a huge problem. You have... So, look look how many bullets you have, right? There's no reason to pick up this ghost. This is a very bad habit. Like, you reload. And then you pick up another ghost. There's no reason to pick up the ghost. And that actually kills you, right? There are a few really bad habits that a player can have. One of them is spraying after the kill. Second, uh, second is changing the gun when it's not needed. And third is like constantly swapping guns. You know, like one of the big, big, big problems. And here I think, I do think that um, your sensitivity might not be well adjusted for you. But we're going to keep watching because, you know, it was just first round. We'll see how that goes. No, someone doesn't have voice already. Fantastic. I love those people, man. Alright, let's see what you buy on the second... What? Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. This is not good. You just won the pistol round. And what you buy on the second round after after going to the pistol... Let, let, let's see if you actually don't sell this. If you actually go with this. I cannot do anything to him, man. All right, so at least you bought the full util. At least you bought the full util. But you literally just kind of go went to... Let me buy f my safe. So it's like half armor, right? And, and a, and a hey, sheriff. Flight. I really dislike... The, like, when, when you buy... You play a long range uh, angle, right? And I dislike when someone buys a small shield when you are deliberately playing a long range angle... Because this one right here, when you the position that you play against a half buy, you can get killed with one bullet from a sheriff, and they're gonna be having some sheriff. So you kind of put yourself in danger just because of that, and you continue doing the smoke that helps them instead of you, right? So this is already a problem. Like the way that you put up the smoke doesn't really benefit you playing the sheriff. Like you want to have an actual gunfight. Right? You want to have an actual gunfight. So if you play in this position, why not buy a marshal? Not smoke this, right? So you can have duels. Because right now, you help them avoid you. And you have a gun that doesn't benefit from closer angles. So if they're going to push you, you're going to be at a disadvantage. I would much rather have a classic or a ghost against a pl sheriff player than an actual sheriff. You know? And also, when you buy a pistol round, like... You know, sorry, when you when you win a pistol round, on attack, like if you're not a player that dashes into a site, you should definitely buy. If you're playing more risky, you might not buy a gun and just go for like a ghost or something. But buying a sheriff only on defense, I, I strongly consider griefing yourself because this is not a good overall gun. This is a very specific gun that only is tailored to one specific playstyle, which is tapping heads. Because the other playstyle is going for free body shots. 
but it doesn't really differ that much. You still control it the same way, right? So, yeah. Yeah, this is like, you see, like you smoked it and then you spam the smoke. It's like, okay, well, I, uh, you don't. And the rain, I also have a sheriff. So you're like, this is gonna be a very, very losable round, right? I think it's a rotating, I think. Ah, you should. You hear the footsteps. They're not rotating, right? So it could be like, no, no, they're not rotating. I still hear two, three people on, on long. No, I'm not rotating. Ah, see? Good. Alright. Good for you. Lul. You didn't, you didn't give info the way like you did the round before. The round before, when they were crossing to stairs, you were giving the info. Right now, you are not giving the info. Uh, Alright, and now you lost two players. And I might actually get, get better guns. See? They actually got better guns. But it's not it's not the, that player's fault, by the way. Like you are you are upset that they have a spectre from your teammate that they killed on stairs, but one, you didn't give info that they're pushing stairs, and also you played three on site, and none of you were able to stop the push because two of you had sheriffs. You know? It's like you both you and Reyna went like super back because your weapons were shit to actually consider like stopping a, to stop a push, right? So this is literally not the player's fault that is on, on the stairs. He got no info when he was rotating. He went into two opponents, two opponents and he gave the gun, but that is not on him. Wait, who bought a Spectre? Spike is A. Oh, so... Oh, wait, what? I need this. Wait, 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 what's happening here? You have 4.3k. You bought the Vandal, okay. Oh, wait, what? I need this. Uh, bonus. Oh, wait. Okay, you go for the Phantom. Go for God. Oh okay, shit. You went again for a sheriff. Why are you swapping your graphical options so much? Oh, we're gonna keep looking at it, but it feels like you are actually more concerned. This is like the fourth time you go into graphical options during this game. Like, if this is gonna be a pattern, you you seem to be actually more concerned about the settings than actual gameplay. Um... But why are you buying this? Wait, 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 I need to check. You died, so you have no armor. You have 4.3k. So, consider in those rounds, like, is your, is your team going for a full buy this round? If they are going for a full buy this round, this buy that you did uh, the, at the beginning of the round, the Vandal and full armor would be fine. If you're going for a, a like, bonus round... Don't buy full shields on bonus rounds. Like, they don't really give you that much. You know? Like, they, they, it doesn't really give you that much. And also consider that right now, look, you played two rounds in a row with a sheriff. Right? Remember that when you're an omen right here, right? When you're an omen that plays on A, and you're here, right? You should be helping the C push. Like, even this smoke right here, even if you don't have the range, a smoke like this is still helpful. Like, this still helps your team if you do a smoke like this. If they are pushing C, doing even a, a bad smoke like this is better than nothing, right? And you can, uh, like, still, if you go, like, here, if you rotate through the stairs, right, and you can even hide over here, then you can do a normal smoke. Like, this is gonna be a normal smoke for defenders, like this, right? So you can still help. Like, Omen is great when it comes to an Astra as well. Brimstone is not capable of doing that, right? But helping your teammates, not if, like, just, just remember to not cross this line with the smoke, right? But if any smoke that is, like, behind that line is still fine for the defenders. 
What is a bonus round? Bonus round is when your teammates, when your entire team plays with the hardware that was left in the previous round and only buys something new to have still a full buy for the next round. This is why it's called a bonus round because you essentially get a semi-buy bonus for free. So that's also something that I heavily dislike in general. Like, look, you use the paranoia, but you don't do anything about it. Like, you use the paranoia and didn't peek through that smoke. You're just waiting if your teammates are dying or not. Right? But you use the paranoia. Push out of that smoke. Like, push out of the smoke before that. Not now. Now it's already too late. Right? The the lack of intent behind um, the different utility pieces that you see be being used by players, it's something that I see so much at Immortal 3. You see a Immortal 3 KO that uses a dagger for no reason. You see a Sky using a dog and she doesn't do anything with it. You see a, sk a Sky use a flash for nothing, just for info and so on, they never get a space with it, right? You, you want to be in a position uh, you're gonna be in a position where you, you need to have like this habit of thinking before you press the, the button of the utility, you already have to know what you're gonna do with it. If you push if you press a paranoia, do you intend or peeking, or do you intend on falling back because you buy time? Like you need to have this in your mind. Right here, the only and the only way of playing with this was peeking out of that smoke. And even though there was no one on site, it's still a bad habit if you don't push out of that smoke, you know? I'm not gonna stand here. At this point, I would call him a troll if it would be a rank. At this point, I would uh, call you an asshole if you would call people a troll in rank just like that. Nice. Look, I'm playing at fucking Immortal 3 in rank, and people are, are absolute garbage at game knowledge and game sense, and this player is obviously not at the high rank like that, and it's like calling anyone a troll is just not fucking nice. Just be, don't be an asshole. It's not that hard, you know? What the fuck? What the fuck was that movement? I mean, bad cross placement. That's about it. There's nothing else here. Like, look at the cross placement, right? You're not ready to fight this person. You're looking at his belt, right? So your cross placement, when you play a sheriff, like this is something, again, this is the first time I actually see you check a corner. So hopefully it gets, gets better, but your cross placement needs to be higher. Like, this is, this is a big difference, those two lines, right? Your cross placement is here, it should have been here, right? So this is, this is why those guns, like the Sheriff, they have little tolerance of mistakes, because when you peek like this, right? Like, you need to hit three body shots. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, Spike what the fuck was that movement? 666 on you. You could just save. No, what? It was a bonus round. It doesn't read seven. Yeah, dude. Okay. Okay. Okay, my friend. This is something that you need to be taken away from. You are changing your video settings more than you actually spend time thinking of what to buy in your round. And I'm not saying this to insult you, right? This is just to showcase that this is literally me watching you play for five minutes and you have already changed your game settings like six times for no reason. Did he buy it? Omen killed. We can buy, but Alright, let's see. Now, this is your first full buy round.
All right, I, I, need to, I need to question you. Why did you change your sensitivity right now? You just change your sensitivity by 18%. What is happening? And now you went back to it and you change it by 5%. Five, 5%. Uh, sorry, by 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 uh, a marginal thing that it's not really impactful. Cover going out. So, all right, this is gonna be an advice that I gave to many guitar players in my past when I was playing guitar as well, and I was guilty of that when I was playing guitar, by the way. So, but the, I feel like this is gonna be a great analogy. When I was um, when I was playing guitar right electric guitar you still had to like plug the guitar into something that will actually create the mo the voice right from the from the instrument and that is going to be an amplifier uh, and typically you can also have like some effects in front of it and so on so there's a lot of settings that you can tweak to change your sound and the thing is when i got into the hobby so much that i had like a huge amplifier like with shit ton of effects, I had like an uh, like an X fractal as well in front of it, so I could like tweak the chain link, and like I could have changed everything. Right? I spent so much time fiddling with the way that my guitar can sound that I basically stopped playing it. And I feel like this is gonna be a great analogy because it seems like you're more bothered with the fact that you're tweaking your graphical settings and your sensitivity settings instead of fixing what is really at important and that is the fundamental level of play, right? So stop tweaking. Stop changing your settings all the time. If you feel like, like also, by the way, I, I said that your sensitivity felt too slow and you had to change it to even slower, right? Okay. Let, let, let's take a look. Right now, you did again the same smoke that helps them to cross, right? So this is really not helping you. What is your plan here? Like... Alright, so you had a plan to TP on top of the wall with the paranoia. But this setup doesn't really help you. This is a great example of actually... Uh, like, you had a plan. I feel like... I feel like you had a plan to do this from the beginning of the round. But the thing is... If you go like this, there's a very, very, very small chance to this for this to work out because you did this smoke here, right? So this is the f this is the smoke that you should e shouldn't be e you shouldn't be even doing, right? If you are playing on defense because this helps your opponents. And then you're over here, and you're already in a gunfight, so someone can peek you. You have absolutely no cover, right? So your only chance is actually to do this paranoia, and then you're like you can only do this. But you have no smoke set up, right? The, you are completely exposed to all the angles. And like you're on mercy of your opponents. If they are dumb enough to not see you or not react, well, then you're alive. But otherwise, you're not going to do jack shit, right? That was a throw of me that round. I thought they were blind, so I wanted to get at least one. But it, it wasn't a throw because of the TP. It was a throw because you were standing here. Like, you're dead. In this position, the only way you can you can get out of this is get a kill, TP out. And you're still out in the open. Like, there's nothing else you can do. Like, standing in this position guarantees that you are, you're gonna be dead, essentially. So, I, unless you kill two of them, this round is always a throw. If you get one and you get killed, it's still worse for the def defense than the attack because the attack is going one for one is what they want in the first place. And if you're going to get two kills, sure, great, but it doesn't change the fact that you're in a terrible position. Like, if you're playing a Chamber, if you're playing a Yoru, if you're playing a... Reyna is still dead here, by the way. I, I don't think she's going to get out of this. She's going to be, like, probably ending up her dismiss around here. So she's still going to be dead. And Chamber can only TP, like, back to the, to the like, out, out in the terrible positions anyway. So it's like, this is not a good spot to be in unless you have teammates with you and you're fighting for this space. Like, even when you swap to the utility here, you're always, like, 
out in the open and you cannot do anything. All right, so this is a big, big, big problem that I see. Yeah, mother. Just, just look at the look at the uh, look at the gunfight, right? You made the smoke. You help them cross into that point. So you, you're gonna be 100 certain that someone is gonna be peeking you here, right? Because you help them cross. Okay. And now you're in a position though that you are not ready to fight they have a better angle at fighting than you because they have cover right that is also a sharper angle than you what you have right and you're so far away that your paranoia remember it's a projectile so if you want to paranoia that not only you have to waste time to equip it but then there's a travel time of this paranoia and your tp ends up here so you need to go forward to actually have a TP on top of the wall or otherwise you're going to end up in, the, in nowhere, right? Look, see, you had to go forward. You are completely not ready to fight for this entire, in the entire like moment. So you could have been dead three times here. If they would have peeked out of here, 100% dead because you're holding utility in hand. And also because you're holding utility in hand, you can't even shoot the Squirtle. This is one bullet, by the way. This is the easiest flash to dodge in the game. It's it's even worse than Rainer Flash. It really is. Just shoot it. So you go, you know that you're not gonna avoid it, and you're like essentially dead, right? Yeah, my bad. You should have pulled back. Unavoidable. Alright, so this is the first gun round. And in this round, you have uh, uh, fuck, uh, how much it was two one point two. Wait, yeah, I don't know why did I two point four. Okay, yeah. two point yeah. four, and for from two point four, you're buying a sheriff and a small shields. So how much do you have left for the next one? One point two. You should have three point seven. Yeah, let me change the camera. Uh, we're oh. And by the way, I have to just say, it's very admirable. Anyone that sends their vote review for a public, like, you know, review like this, it's very obvious that you guys want to get better at the game, and I love that. Right? I love that. So thank you very much for sending those, and I admire the mindset. That, that should be everyone's mindset. All right, so the smoke here, right, that you want to do is good when you know that the opponent's already crossed. But the thing is that the opponents first have to cross from here. This is the barrier. So what you can literally do is also, if you want to be more aggressive on, on B, you can put the smoke over here because this is the first, um, first angle that the opponents need to cross. So when you play an omen on B side, I will show you something. When you're playing an omen on the B side, uh, and you want to be effective, right? You can actually remember you're getting your your utility back, right? So when I'm standing on B, I can start the round by smoking like this, right? So this makes them go through this first smoke like completely blind. So they need to use some more utility, and they're gonna be fucked otherwise, right? Then I can just always tip you up. Fuck me. Yeah, that's epic pen. Um, wait. This is uh, this is something that you can always do on full buy rounds when you can just always TP back to site from behind this box, right? Over here, right? And then you can do a second smoke, which was the one that you were thinking about. Fuck me, the epic pen is fucking me over. So when you do like a, like a defensive smoke over here, this is the best smoke that you can do. To actually defend the, the site, right? Because when you're coming out out of the smoke, they're coming straight up into your crosser, into your crosser placement because they need to like wide swing from that smoke, right? Um, remember that there are many, many ways that you can play defend the smokes here, right? The first contact is this one. Then the second contact is this one, right? Like this is another good smoke right here, right? 
And then third smokes. So there are like three different smokes that are like basic defense smokes that you can use on this map. And they are all decent, depending on where you stand. But they are nowhere near site, so you don't give them space just to go and leak onto site. Right? Right. But also, like, uh, you gonna smoke it for you? Oh, sure. oh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, man. Oh God, dude. <laughs> please, for the love of God, there's everyone in, everyone in the game. Please stop doing those smokes, man. Like, <laughs> it just makes me, it just makes me laugh so hard because you, you don't even play that position, but you, <laughs> you fuck over the teammates, man. <laughs> Don't worry about it, though. I mean, you should be worried about it, though. But the thing is, the context for this is, players at Immortal 3 are dumb enough to also do this, those type of smokes that always piss me off. And in the three years of playing this game, nothing fucking changed. So I don't have any expectations of anyone in the game to actually know how to play smokes. You know? Blinding. It, it's just... Uh, that's that's why those vote reviews are actually oh, nice. Spike down A. One A. Oh, all right. Good job, bro. Shoot the fucking squirtle, bro. Spike planted. Last player standing. Oh shit, bro. Push, push. See, AD, AD against the sheriff, and then he gets killed when he's standing still. Bit, mate. A bit. Oh, good job, though. Bro, did you see what I did to them? Holy fuck. Those are some good shots. I was stunned to one tap him. Shit. <laughs> what about insane. But what are you doing? And this guy was fucking shitting himself in the end. <laughs> what, why, why are you switching so much? Why you went into, like... I don't even know what did you did. Did you just alt tap for something for no reason? Again. Oh. What are you doing? Maybe it's for the recording of the actual VOD. No. If it's for the recording of the actual VOD, okay, I understand. Okay, it what was? The fuck? Okay. That was accident, not fighting. Dude, what is your DPI? Shadows traveling. Watch them run. So it's a, it's a, this is a 5v3 when you are doing this. I personally would not do that because your opponents are on lower buy. You have an advantage, huge advantage, and you, you, you give them an occasion to kill you with, with like whatever low buy guns they have and give them this phantom. This is still fully losable. Down A. One enemy remaining. Can I help please? Nah, he was low HP. I was like, wait, but there's a that's a headshot. But I like the fact that this time you swung after the nice. after the paranoia. That's the best way to record a VOD, OBS or Shadowplay? Well, I actually don't know. I just only use OBS. You're still changing something to record the, the vote review here? Wait, I did okay. 35. So now that this wall is here, what's your plan? It sounds like you don't have a plan, right? That's also a very, very big thing with a lot of players that I do water reviews for. Players never have a plan of what they want to do in that round. Like right now, you're standing just watching nothing. Smoking it. See. Shadow. <clears throat> this is another smoke that helps your opponents than your teammates, right? This is another smoke that helps your opponent than your teammates. 
It's the same thing. I already explained to you how to do a smokes on C, so I'm not going to do it again. Wait, let me just do quickly new subs. Yo, Jacob, thank you so much for the two months. Sorry, eight months. Welcome back. And also, lady, I don't know. Something is broken. I cannot put your name on the on the bus. I'm so sorry, lady. Thank you so much for the 21 months. Welcome back. But th this smoke that you did on the side is is really not helping your... your not helping your teammates, right? And now you can... You can kind of clearly see you're not helping the Cypher. Look, he's holding the angle. They crossed the smoke from you, so you literally helped them to go into sight. And you're not ready to help the Cypher, and you swing completely not ready on what is happening on site. Right? So, but the biggest mistake is that literally that smoke, that, that, that smoke that you did is the biggest mistake. So when you... Let me explain it actually again, because... I don't know. We'll see. So when I'm playing on C, right? If I... If, if an omen from my team gives a smoke over here, this doesn't help the player in sight at all. Like, if someone would be standing actually here, like, look, you're, you're getting fucked. Like, what? You cannot really hold anything right the only good smoke that you can do over here right is like i'm not okay not only but let's say the basic smoke that you can do over here that helps the defender is this because you're stopping the push this is actually pretty bad because there's still like a gap here so this still leaks this is not a good smoke by the way so if you want to be better at this smoke you have to do it like this so it doesn't leak onto site let's wait for this to disappear right and when you're holding this angle like, they're gonna go straight into multiple angles like this. Like, you're going from the unknown, sorry, into the unknown, when you can be aimed at from different angles. You can be aimed from here, 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 and you will never know. Right? That's the biggest problem. Like, those smokes that you do are now actively sabotaging your team. And I'm not saying this to insult you, right? It's to get better. So... I'm not certain if Omen is like, or like controllers are your main role, right? But please go to exclamation mark Lotus Lab, watch my playlist. At the bottom of the playlist, you have three videos about smokes. You have to watch them. Okay? You have to watch them. Because this is like the basics of the smokes that you should be having. And also, if I'm not mistaken, there's a one way over here. Yeah. So if you're playing from site or from here, you can literally just do a one-way that helps you defend this site. There's probably other one-ways. I don't play Omen that much, right? So I don't know. I would have to, like, sacrifice some time to find it. But I'm almost almost certain there are better one-ways than this. Yeah, this one is much better, as you can see. This kind of helps you, right? To hold this site. If you're standing over here, you can literally just get free kills. If they don't counter you with a smoke of their own right here, right? Because then your one way is worthless. Worthless. But please remember, watch the guides that I did on smokes. There are three of them in my Lotus Lab playlist on YouTube. This is again. See, this is this. This is the repeat situation from the previous round. You're holding a sage wall. Like, there's nothing that's gonna happen here to this because they didn't shoot it. They're gonna have to, like, waste five seconds to actually go from, like, go for it. Like, you're, you're literally right now in this round. Imagine you're dead because you're holding something that doesn't have to be hold, held. Right? A little bit better than the previous smoke, but still helps the opponents more than your teammates because it's, it's like slit. It, it, it slides into the site so it helps them and now use the paranoia and no one can benefit from it right you you cannot like peek over that peek over that paranoia no one else was fighting with it and see see how big this smoke was look how do you hold this you can't because the smoke leaks too much onto the site like, 
Someone can swing from here. 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 You don't know where to put your crosser because there's so many positions that you enabled to the opposing team just because of your smoke that is badly positioned. Cover going out. No rotating. No, 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 no. Okay, good. This is a much better smoke than you did before. Remember, when you shoot with the Vandal for the smoke, your opponents will see the bullet traces. So, if you're... <laughs> if you're... <laughs> if you're spraying through the smoke with a Vandal, don't do it for longer than just like three, four bullets, right? Do it for like a moment and then reposition so you don't get spammed through it. He doesn't know. Your crosser placement might not be the best. It's too much. It's too high. You see? Like, right here, your crosser placement is for your close position. When someone peeks you out close, his head is going to be here, right? But if someone peeks you from the longest angle, his head is going to be here. So you're not, not certain where to hold your crosser. Cross, cross, cross. He doesn't know. Wait, what do you mean play cross? Yeah, I don't see the meme map, so I don't know who you're talking to. But look look at the look at the chaos, see? Like the chaos head is way lower than your crosser. So you have to lower it down. One enemy remaining. Is he there too? Yeah. Enemy remaining. Is he there too? Yeah, your your sensitivity is way too low, by the way. Like Way, way, way too low. And also, look, see, see how you move your your uh, your mouse. This is something that you need to work on. Like the way that you move your mouse is very inefficient. Look, when you're moving your mouse, your mouse went like this. Pause. Here. Right. Look. One enemy remaining. Is he there too? You peaked in an angle that you were not ready to peak, right? So this might also come from the fact that uh, you don't know the map well, which is a possibility. Let me check actually your, your mouse movement. How do you do this? No, it's just... Right, you, didn't, you didn't even like lift your mouse. You're just peeking out while not being ready... For the for the for the uh, for the angle. All right, so I will show you an example how to how to fix that. So when you're when you're peeking for that, we're gonna go to the exact same position as you are, right? When I'm here and I'm holding the angle, right, like this. Remember that this line over here, this thing, the the Valorant devs are putting those lines over here to help you with the head placement, like. This actually is like, the, above this line, you have the head. You know? And the boxes of Radiant also like showing you the, the top of the box of the Radiant box shows you where the head is, right? So when you're like, like this, don't peek like, you peek like this. You have to reposition here, right? If you're peeking from the corner, be like this. Swung out with your crosser already in that spot. Right? You don't want to like peek this and adjust with your mouse. You want to peek into a angle that you're already ready to fight. So you can minimize the amount of space that you need to cover with your mouse swing. Right? Like that's, you never want to do this. You never want to swing out in the open and do a flick. That's super inefficient. What you always want to achieve is to minimize the amount of mouse movement that you want to do. So when you're swinging into this position, right, you know that you're going to be swinging into this. Imagine there's a player over here. Like, put your... In your head, there's a, there's a player already here. When you swing him, you already want the mouse next to him. Right? Like, remember, in uh, something that you should listen to, what I explain, in the Lotus Lab video, 
about the worst smoke and what are the three guides about smoking, I cover the how to how to check like angles by cutting the pie, right? So please go to that guide also and listen to that. Yeah. Like it's like one of the Oh, Most FPS, so important skills in tactical I FPSs. To, uh, back to it doesn't matter which one you play. Valorant, CSGO, Rainbow Six. In all of those games, this is one of the most important skills to have. This is a multi-attitude space house to clear it effectively by cutting the pie. Something that you will learn from my exclamation mark worst smoke guide. Did you want to go on the top top wall or just here? Alright, so very good example. You got lucky. This is not CS with spray patterns when someone does this and you would say, mm, nice spray control. You got literally lucky here. Right? What you should have done is have is have like better gun hygiene. Right? So you shouldn't be spraying this. I know it's hard when you see multiple enemies. Like, your mind goes into, oh, let me just fucking spray this. Right? It's a nice triple kill, but you got insanely lucky with the fact that no one looked at you, right, for the first. So there are a few things that you can fix here. The way that you, that you peek is like you expose your full body while shifting. So that's one, one big mistake that you already do, right? So both your, your gun hygiene and your movement hygiene is not great. So when we are in this position, right? Look. Look how I move. I don't use my shift at all. And I never make any noise. Right. When I do this, I never make any noise. But I have full swing, full speed, while not pressing shift. That's one of the key things to learn in Valorant as well, right? You need to learn how much you can move without pressing shift, without doing any noise. And when you ping, uh, swing like this, like you swung like this, you fully expose yourself, you weren't ready for any, any angle that you were clearing, right? And then you just crouched and did the spray. What you should have done is no shift peak, shoot three bullets, go back. You get one kill, good. Right? Then you can just do fall back, do a smoke or something. Like that's this smart play. But even if you swung out, you expose yourself and you have those free enemies, your reaction should be and not because this is just luck. If you want to get better at this game, you need to control your your gun. So you need to go for those bursts instead of the sprays, right? Look, let's take a look again. You are shift peeking into this corner, and now you see three people, right? Also, remember that they were on a lower buy. Actually, Kayo had a vandal for some reason. But yeah. What the fuck? One enemy remaining. Healing. You know. Be aware that Omen is gonna try the same shit when we attack. Mm. Again, this is the third time you're holding the same angle, right? You you don't have a plan this round. You're just holding something that the, the sage is holding, and now you're essentially killed. Your team is 4v5 this round for the first 10 seconds. And that's third time I see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Omen destroyed it. Uh, Rin destroyed it. Um, wait. <laughs> I already explained this, so I don't need to explain it again. The opposing Omen Smoke is not bad, by the way, but it's also like... Doesn't really deny any info. It's like it's it doesn't deny info. Like the opposing if the if the opposing omen uses two smokes on site, that would be okay, but not like one. I'm not here. 
Wait, is it could be or no no you smoked C, C again smoked see C. like this omen just smoked seaside but w our fucking breach is on long C. okay so what's the point of the smoke he's got such a big ego But this wall is not wall, wall bangable. A good shot. One enemy remaining. Oh, he's out. B. One enemy remaining. You're going into the unknown, right? Without being ready to oh, shoot. So what the hell? That's that, that's one of the bad habits that I always see, right? Going into the unknown without a gun ready. Whenever you die like this, you should slap yourself to like make certain to remember that to not do this shit. Right? I do that myself. Did that bridge do the right thing running after the ult like that? Well, if you use the ult, you better do something with it. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left? Well, your teammates should better not be fighting this. Use the stun, and yeah, that's it. He was so far away. I didn't even see him. I mean, I don't see the minimap. It doesn't matter. We don't, we don't really focus on the bridge. Um, so how do we counter the? Um, he's gonna win this round. This round is gonna win it because they have they have neon. Hmm. I'm I'm assuming you want to tell your teammates that they have four ultimates and you want to counter yeah, the amount have, of ults yeah, they have. Gold and neon ult. We're gonna push hard. Remember that when when your opponents have a KO ultimate, right? Don't ever stand in a position when you when you think your TP will bail you out, right? So don't ever stand in a position where you need mobility to get out of like sticky fucking places, right? Because K will deny you that. Yeah. Right now you have four teammates on A side because of the Sage wall, which is pretty good. I don't know what is happening on C side because I don't see the minimap, but uh, you're fucking over your Sage right now. The smoke that you did here, right, fucks over your Sage. You just enabled the opposing team to kill her because no one can trade the Sage if she dies because no one will see anything. Nice, nice, nice. They have Sage ult. Right there. That, that's another thing, right? Like, how many times do we see this? You use paranoia. And then you're like, okay, what to do now? So this paranoia had no effect. I... 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 <laughs> he turned he turned around Last round before the switch uh, uh, he turned around uh, no. no i'm i'm, I'm but saying it, it seems like news. um it's the odds the odds and recurring like, free news right in their favors like you play pretty passive know, in I'm, most I'm rounds not gonna just like grieve around and, and, uh, and push and uh, do whatever the, the problem that you have is having a plan with B I'm from the beginning of the round. And almost every time I do a vote review of someone, it's the same thing. It's literally it's literally that. People not having a plan. Also, this this smoke right here, you did it very early, so it also helps the opponents. But because they didn't get the space first, right? By using this smoke over here, it's like even worse than using the smoke that you use over there. Right? Like look. Uh let me go into back into the game. It's beginning of the round, and you literally help your opponents by doing this, instead of this smoke, right? You do this smoke, you help your opponents as well, right? Because they can cross to the to the wall without being spotted and so on. But if you do this, you do this, you do this smoke at the at the beginning of the round, essentially. Now they can get all of this space, and they can also isolate an angle over here in case your defenders break the doors. So if you you only want to do this smoke over here, if they already crossed over this space here, and you want to defend the site, that's when you want to put the smoke over in this position because that's your first line of defense after you lost this entire area, right? So if you want to ever 
ever play like if you ever play with a breach on a main just ask your breach to stun a main at the beginning of the round right so he stuns over here and then you can put a basic smoke on the ground over here or a one way right so they cannot get out of this space right or if you don't have a stun from breach you can always do this smoke to hold them in this space but when you do this smoke you have to remember that people can still go on top of this rock no and yeah how many bullets did you spray you sprayed 13 bullets for a smoke while crouching getting yourself killed essentially no why did i my bad sorry oh sh so something that we have seen in, in the previous round we talked about. Yeah, this this uh, this person needs to learn to shoot the squirtle. <laughs> yeah. Well. Not sure if you mentioned it, but he's lifting his mouse all the time and using five centimeters of his mouse pad. Look, I said it. What? Your mu your sensitivity is way too low. At least in my eyes. Farron, what, what is your, your what is your sensitivity? Spike planted. Zero to eight hundred. So it's literally it's it's uh it's quite literally half of what i use look this is my sensitivity right if i would do this this would be yours i would have to swing so much to move like holy fuck this is like my entire mouse pad this space this is uh, for CS, maybe. Yes, for Valorant, this is definitely not good. There's too much utility. There's too much, like, movement abilities that you need to track. Like, this is definitely too low. You know? This is definitely too low. And because of that, it seems like you have issues with, like, clearing angles, being ready for peaks, and so on. Like... To sum up the, the vote review, because th this was the already the last round, right? First, watch the guides on the smokes. That's the first thing. Because that's the biggest problem that we found during this vote review. So, watch the guides on the smokes that I already recorded. Learn from them. And also, yeah, all of the smokes that I explained to you, they should have been repositioned. Two, have intent behind the utility no, no. that you use. If you use a smoke... If you use a, 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 a paranoia, you should always know what is your plan to use that utility for, right? And uh, then what else? Cutting the angles. When you swing, you're not ready for which angle you're swinging for, right? The, the, what I explained on that long C when you swing swing from the box. Like, you're not ready, you don't have, you don't put the imagination into which angle you're swinging for. That's something you also need to, like, practice. So you're gonna find that explanation as well in the uh, worst smoke video when it comes to, like, cutting the pie and checking angles. And then swapping your settings all the time is not gonna build up it's uh, like when you're swapping your graphical settings all the times, you're just thinking more about tweaking the game to, to your liking more than actually playing it and learning it, right? Just like with the guitar uh, example that I said. And second thing, the way that you aim, in my eyes, your sensitivity is way too low. If you would like to learn a little bit like how to find like, like your basic sensitivity, type an exclamation mark, find sense, and watch that clip, all right? But right, thank you for sending the vote review, though.